Yo ho ho, to the sound of the Lord's drum, to the beat of his drum, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, you cannot tell me that America didn't let the devil in through continuous sin. One nation under God, all in the wallet sinning continuously against that god so what that did was it gave a the devil the legal right to touch us and so that's where this virus is evil it come in but we don't have the protection uh being one nation under god because it's almost like god stepped back like well you want the devil so let the devil have his way and most of those i know that are christian are being you know kind of protected right now that i know uh, um, but it's still a, you know, a test of the Christians and it's still going to be a faith factor there. But, um, uh, you know, it's weird too. All these years, I wonder why, you know, the Lord kept giving me a different vehicle to use all different ones from Hondas to donks, to low riders, to monster truck, to, you know, so. And then now that I'm online, all of a sudden I find these like super big car groups that have tons of lost people in them. And I have a car for each group that I can break the ice with that represents Jesus. So it's it's just mind blowing because here I thought I was, you know, just choosing these things out of my own free will. But, you know, when you submit to God's works, he will, it's Proverbs 16, 3, commit thy works unto thy Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. And apparently that's what he did by giving me a, a style of vehicle to use for each genre. I, I had the freaking monster truck, the freaking donk, the low rider, the motorcycle. Uh, and then now I'm in the groups breaking the ice with each form of vehicle that I had over the years. And so it just continues on and on and on. So the Lord never made no mistake with everything that he led me to do. And it's just crazy. But so the devil comes to steal, kill, destroy, right? And that's his plan for America, duh, duh. And then when America plays with the devil, like, Let's allow the Church of Satan to go in our Capitol buildings and do rituals now. Then we say it's okay for Satanism. And God's going, what? Because I know personally when I was confused and I tried to, uh, to uh, speak on behalf of Satan, I got smashed by God. So America over here setting himself up to be just smashed. And a whole ton of people still don't want to hear about repentance. They're scoffing at the Lord still to this day. So why would you not expect America to just be handled? You know, to me, to me, this is me personally, but to me, it's like the game is coming near an end because, you know, it's like the last call out here. It's like God already sees who wants him and who doesn't. You know, it's easy to see. And there's people calling on the Lord right now. Hallelujah. But not on a huge spectrum. There's still a lot of people that are going to be running around scoffing about the Lord right as it's burning and going down. So it's just not a surprise that America would be getting gutted. And it may not be the virus that destroys America, but weaken America first and then attack it from another source. Because it would be weak, you know, full of virus. I don't know. We're going to see how this plays out, though. But you know it's the enemy's plan to kill, steal, and destroy this place. And why wouldn't it be destroyed if the majority of it is the devil. God can just remove his people and let the devil have his way with it. 